Hello fellow fuckwits. MTV uploaded a video on New Year's resolutions for white guys. And then I guess they had a little think about it and realised it was a little bit racist and a little bit sexist and took it down. But we got it, ladies and gentlemen. They thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. Hey fellow white guys. Fuck me. A white guy in an MTV video. This cannot be good. It's about to be a new year. And there's a few things we think you could do a little bit better in 2017. Okay, there's a few things going on here. First, I had to cut the guy's audio off because it overlapped with the next image, probably to discourage videos like this, but yeah, we can deal with that. Secondly, do people dress like this now? He's wearing a fucking cardigan and a kitten t-shirt. He's dressed like a fat girl. This world's gone fucking mad, I'm telling you. Feminism I can handle, but fashion... Fashion's out of control, man. And finally, what race is this? Anyone? I know the libtards expect me to recognise any race just by looking, but I honestly don't know. I bet even the fucks at MTV had to get him to fill out a form before they knew. It's about to be a new year. Perfect American accent as well, so I don't know what to think. He ain't giving away any clues, is he? Even a little slant in the eye area would at least give me a region, but no, nothing. And if you think that's racist, well it can't be, because he could be fucking Caucasian for all I know. I ain't got a clue. <laughs> Oh yeah, what he said was pretty shady too. I mean, that's like someone doing a video on what black men could do better in 2017, because that shit would cause fucking riots. Oh, and if you haven't already, check out Mr. Dapperton. He did a parody video of this, which is basically what I just said, with the exception of not being fucking genuine. First off, try to recognize that America was never great for anyone who wasn't a white guy. So I'm guessing this girl is African-American, as y'all like to say. It's just called black over here. Thankfully, the whole carrying your race like a burden thing hasn't yet reached the UK. Can we all just agree that black lives matter isn't the opposite of all lives matter? Black lives just matter. There's no need to overcomplicate it. If anything, being too specific is complicating it. All lives matter is a much more rounded, all-encompassing statement. Black lives matter is so specific that people say BLM instead for fuck's sake. But then, if it were All Lives Matter, you wouldn't be able to blame one specific race for the fact that you can't pull your head out of your ass. I bet Black Lives Matter, for you, is a less complicated way of saying white lives don't matter. You racist pieces of shit are one lynching away from being the fucking black KKK. Also, Blue Lives Matter isn't a thing. Uh, are you sure about that, mate? Are you sure it wasn't founded on the 20th of December 2014 following the ambush and killing of two police officers? Unless I've got this horribly incorrect, this is embarrassing. Cops weren't born with blue skin, <laughs> right? I mean, yeah, they weren't born blue. What the fuck was that? Was that a joke? I hope that was a joke. In fact, if it was or it wasn't, it is still a poor reflection on the US education system. Actually, no, I take that back because looking at your clothes and listening to what you're saying, well, it's obvious you've got special needs, so I shouldn't be making fun of you, really, but it's so hard. Stop bragging about being woke. Stop saying woke. I fucking agree, man of ambiguous origin. It sounds stupid when anyone says it, regardless of the colour of their skin. Now, how's that for not being racist, eh? Everyone's an idiot. But on the other hand, I will say what the fuck I want, so you can go suck a dick. Unless you're into that, in which case, go lick a vag. Learn what mansplaining is, and then stop doing it. Fuck me, are we still on mansplaining? How you can come up with a grievance like that and not see how ridiculous you are being, I will never know. I really hope you lost some followers because of that. Like, like everyone's at a feminist rally and the bitch with the green hair and the megaphone is like, down with mansplaining. And there's some bitches at the back going, did, did, did she just say mansplaining? She did, didn't she? She said mansplaining. Fuck it, I'm out, I'm out. That would explain why there's no intelligent third wave feminists. They all went home. Oh, and if you're a judge, don't prioritize the well-being of an Ivy League athlete over the woman he assaulted. Yeah, I vaguely know what you're talking about. You're talking about that rapist kitty, yeah? I don't know much about it, but if there was a fair trial and shit like that, then you've just got to get over it, mate. you got to stop throwing a tantrum every time things don't go your way. And do you honestly think a judge is watching the MTV channel on YouTube? And even if they were, what about your statement would sway them? You just say, stop doing this, stop doing that, and you expect people to be like, motherfucker, he's right, I've been doing it wrong all this time. I swear, the white guys in this video are getting the weakest shit to say. You should have wore a kitten t-shirt, mate. You might have got some decent lines. We all love Beyonce. Can't fucking stand her. And yeah, she's black, so of course she cares about black issues. 
I'm talking to you, Fox News. Not all black people care about black issues because black issues tend to be contrived and wanky. I mean, they're called black issues, for fuck's sake. If they mattered as much as all that, then they would be called issues. By putting black at the beginning of words, you serve only to segregate yourself, and that is a black issue. Fun fact, I said black six times in this segment. Feel free to take Kanye West, though. You guys can have him. No, don't want him. You know what you did, Kanye because he was pro-Trump, so he isn't black anymore. Fucking hell, you make it sound more like a secret club than a skin pigmentation. Do you have an annual newsletter this year in black? It's just the color of your skin, dickhead, not a fucking religion. Nobody who has black friends says that they have black friends. No, but I do have black friends. Ah, oh, damn it. Just because you have black friends doesn't mean you're not racist. You could be racist with black friends. Not seriously, no. There's a stark difference between nigger please and go home nigger. I mean, I played Minecraft with a black mate of mine. I built a cross out of wood outside the house he built and lit it on fire. He thought it was fucking hilarious. So you're wrong, really. Being friends with a black person means you like them, which is kind of the opposite of what racism is. We know nobody's perfect. But honestly, you could do a little better in 2017. But you wouldn't be implying that all white people are the same, would you? Because I hear that's frowned upon in some cultures. Obviously not in the culture MTV is trying to establish, but as long as it's on white people, because you can't be racist to white people, right? Right. Some of you guys do a great job. Some of you don't. How? By checking their privilege. And how do you do that anyway? Is there a website I can go on? And what happens once you have? Do you get any kind of confirmation? Like a, a certificate? And when someone says, check your privilege, you can just pop it out and they'll go, oh, sorry, mate, I see you already have. Next, please. Otherwise, it's just not a good system. Please, because 2016 is bad. 2017 can't be worse than this, all right? Because this is bad. Yeah, but people say that shit every year, don't they? Mainly because of celebrity deaths, but you can't blame that one on the white man. Oh no, that is scraping the bottom of the barrel, that is. And anyway, chin up. 2017 might genuinely be better. Apple might release a phone which has an audio jack. People might stop blowing themselves up in the name of whatever deity is unlucky enough to be worshipped by them. And West Ham might finish in the top half of the Premier League table, but I seriously doubt all of those things. Except for the Apple one, which I swear was a marketing ploy. Still, new year, new iPhone, right? What the fuck am I talking about? Fuck it. Thanks for watching, guys. And remember, having dark skin is fine, but a dark sense of humour is way better.